Welcome to Nowhere. I'm the guy that lives in Nowhere. And today we're gonna play with something else. Today, this. There, this one, there, you can see that. That's that whole shifter piece that's fucked up. Yeah, I'm looking at the bottom of the screen. So that's what it is there. You can see that there. So today I'm at Ford, and I'm gonna go see what they're gonna tell me. This little bolt here is costing. This is an aftermarket part, so we don't, I don't fucking really know. Yeah, so I, I'm in the Grand Prix today because, well, it's winter. I don't know if you can see the snow flurries and shit. It's winter. Oh, lock the car because if I'm not fucking too. There we go. Uh, not too bad. You wouldn't happen to know where to find that part. The piece that's busted inside, the main shaft that goes into the... Yeah. They don't make, uh, make the parts. The... Well, I can look it up. Because I, I just don't know what it's called either. I've tried to look online myself. On the shifter? Yeah. It really doesn't matter with the knob. Cause... But it's the piece that goes in to allow you to engage the reverse. Because these are just catches. Because right now I've got like... What's that? Uh, 2011 Mustang GT. Yeah. Which size motor? A five liter. The radius said with the heat tilt? Did you see that's what I was worried about because right now like I'm using half inch compression fitting on it to a half inch piece and I just went to three eighths went through there I made my own I have a t-bar uh, it, it works but you got to be careful about hit and reverse because now there's no block I can make my own but I'd really I don't really need to I, I'm working on my 69 right now and I just got a broken piston and uh, spun bearing so I have to take apart everything again because I just put it back together in a wire block. But yeah. You don't have to have your whoops. Your bin, do you? Uh, give me a second. Yeah, so I mean, just as long as I get that one pin done, I'm good. Yeah. But usually you have to buy the whole piece and say, like, come on. The rest of it doesn't break. <laughs> I just don't like the fact that they. They cut out a piece They're of it. Not even showing this piece. Is this not? Is a, is this below the boot? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's why. Yeah, broken on the in middle of Calgary on uh, Glendale or something like that. Like, mm, just trying to get it through. what first. Well, first doesn't work now, and. I had to push that a half a block and it started going uphill on there. It's like my legs were already dead and somebody finally came out and helped me to get across there. It's like I could barely even help it, so it was all him doing it and had the girlfriend in the car at the time doing the steering. Yeah. I almost died. I can't believe this thing is not part anymore. So I'd have to uh, get my own lathe and just make my own. I'd have to pull out the bottom piece too. Because they, like, all they show is this, right, and this piece here. Yeah, that just shows you, that's just a shifter knob, but that's not the, the, sh no, the, the shaft. Itself, you probably have to go right into the transmission. Because I've seen people do that, they'll just, they Turn take out the four this. bolts and you have to take out that. There's a shifter kit that they make. And that's the thing I don't, I don't because I'm not looking at a $700 part to be a... Uh, I'll just get a lathe and done it up. The fact that they they whittle it down to a small section at the top, then they put an O-ring there for no stupid reason. There's no oils or nothing in that. It's a plastic piece, and then it goes back into a, a half-inch OD. So then that's where it broke. White metal. But I'm wondering if it is really white metal or if it's steel. If it's steel. Because if that's steel, then I can weld it myself. It looks like it's steel. 
Because if it's steel, I'll do uh, a tap drill in, put like a, a dowling with metal, and and then I'll weld it on and weld it as clean as I possibly can in the Mustang. But I'll just put a sheet metal around it so it doesn't uh, <laughs> cause me to have a nightmare of a time. But also, there's a piece in there. I think the pin's press fitted. Oh. Right. You can't even get, like, if it was part of the knot, you can't even get this in, you know, for the knot. Yeah, because the, the little uh, Allen key screw is what holds that. Yeah, it just, would hold it in. Yeah, because there's a spring that would just it let it fall out. Yeah. No, you just take, like, this should come out of the transmission. This is how it attaches. It just sticks on there. Yeah, because it's, yeah, really it's, uh, it's yeah. to allow it to go up and down yeah. to hit the reverse block. It's right now. Yeah. I can go from anything, but it's I know to move my hand half an inch, and I mean, and I push up, and that's first. Mm -hmm. Anymore, like, oh, that's reverse. <laughs> Damn it. But you got to be careful. You can't do any racing with that. I figured if, you know, maybe no, with that shifty, you can, so you don't have that worry about the block. But it's always I can yeah. design something, so but I, I then I'm going through the boot. And and we accidentally did turkey. Once too many times. So if you find so the detents in the you, top of the ship, I will use seventy eight dollars and seventy five cents. On the top cents. of the tranny, it should be on that rod there. I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. We we accidentally clicked the button twice, and we should have only done it once. So. Yeah. So I can refund you over um, if you have a credit card or something. What's that? Yeah, but not. So what's it uh, called? We'll right We're not sure yet. <laughs> find a number on it. We still a picture of it now, but can't find a number on it. Okay. Yeah, it's not a problem at all. Again, yeah. Because technically, time, it, it is. Yeah. It is the shifter lever. The main. <laughs> it's the lower shifter lever. All right. Well, you have a good rest of your night. Why couldn't they just, yes. you know, <laughs> all right, talk to you later. make something else? Well, it's not that pricey. It's available. Yeah. Nope. No. How much? Hey, well, you, like you Caitlin without the T. That's the punching yeah. the Canadian side and look it up. Yeah, and add 30 to 40 percent yeah, of the price because American to Canadians. Exactly. Yeah. Everything's American built. Sorry, you're welcome. Priced here, but... Bye. Yeah. All right, so I'm back in the in the car, and yeah, I'm just covering my VIN number because you guys don't need to really know. All right, so there it is, Mustang CF. This section. That is the part number, okay? It's after that shit. So build date and this print date, see, October 9th, 2018. So this thing here is at 7210. That's what it is. That piece there, that whole section, just to replace that little piece that's underneath in the bottom of that there, you have to replace the whole thing because they don't just replace a little bit. So I'm getting a whole new shifter for 100 for 272, and they got a to me next week they'll call me when I come get it but that's pretty damn good so there's a picture of the number so if you're ordering from Ford that's that we had looked at uh, the girlfriend and I there looked at uh, well yeah we looked at the part uh, at another source and well she told me it was like they were gonna have like five ninety one plus taxes and then including sh and then shipping come out like almost seven hundred fifty dollars to order the same thing here, but it would take almost a month. So I'm surprised with my local Ford here. I got myself uh, the same part, but you know what? It's in now. That way I'll get rid of the old one. So and some day another day from now I'll be uh. Doing up the uh, wow, writing's not working today. I'll be doing the video to changing that up how I did it, not here's how you do it because so many other people have done it. But hey, this is a progress in what's happening, so well, that's going on. And I get that way, I can have my brass fittings and put it back to uh, you know, parts with my vaporizer. That's a hint of how you use part of a vaporizer, too. Use compression fittings because it compresses it, allows it, just make sure you have Teflon tape on some things. But I'm the guy from Illinois ordering parts. It's in the Mustang. We went to Sevenland, got a fucking drink, some taquitos, and a cinnamon bun and a apple strudel. Too, because it's cold. And uh, my brushes, because it was snowing. And yeah, it is snowing out here. It's not the greatest. 
And like always, have a good one.